Hello YouTube and welcome back. This is episode 5 of The Witcher 3. I said 5 in a very, like, weird way. Anyways, what's wrong with my beard? I like my beard. What's wrong with my beard? Always thought it added to my dignity. It does. Yet it also detracts from your elegance. In Nilfgaard, we consider beards hard on the eyes. Especially beards infested with lice. Been on the road a while. Fine. Do your thing. Tilt your head back, please. And sit still. My beard. My beautiful beard. They're making me shave it off. How goes it? Preparations for the audience proceedings planned? Yes, General. The gentleman will be more or less presentable. Who's this guy? He a barber too? No. Morvran Vorius, commander of the Albert Division. Yennefer's escort. They were my men, all of them. Indeed, were, for none have returned to Vizima, have they? I truly wonder what happened on the road yesterday. Perhaps you could enlighten me. You have time. And a uh, razor to your throat. Wild Hunt killed them. Wild Hunt killed them. A cavalcade of wraiths dashing across the night sky. These omens of war the peasantry bubbles about. Expect me to believe that. Frankly, I don't really give a damn. Nordlings, we can bathe you, shave you, and clothe you, but teaching you manners, <clears throat> that will be a challenge. Nice meeting you too. Done. Shall I shave him once more, against the grain? No. He himself is very much against the grain. That's enough. Farewell, Witcher. Or rather, see you soon. Good. Now the gentleman may dress. That guy did a really fast job at the straight edge. I'm sorry, but I could never do a straight edge, like at a barber. Sadly, I did not receive exact measurements. If the garments chafe, our tailor will adjust them. Ugh. Where are my clothes? Where they should have gone long ago, with the laundress. They will be returned to you after the audience, clean and starched. The gentleman will tell me once he has chosen an outfit. Like any of these, can I can I just go with my dinger donger out? I mean, I guess I'll choose this one. This one's got like the most class. Okay. Black suits the gentleman. Does the outfit satisfy the gentleman? No, not really. A studded doublet and a sword on my back. That's what would satisfy me. But tough, when in Nilfgaard. Yes. It's a saying. So what now? Powder my nose? No need. The gentleman's complexion is light enough. The gentleman is to stand before the ruler of the north and south. I must confirm that he knows how to bow. I'm no boar, I know how to bow. I'm not some boar, I know how to bow. Please, demonstrate. That, sir, is how you might bow to a whore on a street corner. Not to the Emperor of Nilfgaard. Please or watch. Emperor, same thing. Leg extended, hand flat, head down, chin to chest. The gentleman will rehearse. Really? Uh, 
Uh, I think that's it. Hmm, lacking fluidity and grace. But we've learned to expect less of Northlings. Come with me. Yeah, I guess right. It was penis forward, chest out, right? The gentleman will address the Emperor only when asked to, and using the appropriate title. Your arch magnificency. I see the gentleman is in the mood for jests. I fear the Emperor might not share his disposition. Your Majesty will suffice. Spoken loudly, clearly, and with respect. Characters don't go upstairs very well. Your Imperial Majesty. Arer et do orde. Avelian Namen, what can favor? Okay. I thought you bowed before no man. Didn't want to disappoint the Chamberlain. We're friends. Take it you didn't summon me to reminisce about the good old days, so... Silence. My daughter, Cyrilla, she's returned, and she's in danger. The wild hunt pursues her. Your you child find is a her brat. and bring her to me. <clears throat> Are you sure? Siri left, went far, far away. Do you believe I drag you here in the middle of a war to discuss a rumor? I think anyone can be wrong, even an emperor. I had forgotten how insolent you can be. I haven't the time to convince you, nor the desire, in fact. Yanafu will do that after the audience. Why how me? many men in your army? 20,000? 30? So why me? You know why. Because she trusts you. She trusts me, yes. So tell me why you're looking for her. Doubt it's about making up for all those lost years. For reasons of state, as always. Enough of this banter. You will agree regardless. If for no other reason than because I shall pay you. More than you customarily receive for a contract. Considerably more. Uh... I need information, not motivation. Siri leaves few tracks. She'll be hard to find. My corps of spies will help you. <clears throat> Count on them and my army, should the need arise. Yennefer will tell you the rest. This audience is finished. Meririd! Meririd? Take him to the sorceress. Oh. How odd. So his daughter was a witcher. Follow me if the gentleman pleases. Please keep close. There are no nah. honorable guests in the palace whom the gentleman disgusts. Need not bother. Witcher senses. First thing in the morning, and it's past noon. Calm yourself. It's. Yeah, it's way past noon. It's 9 p.m., jackass. I'm Herivard the second, Prince of Elan. You've seen us, but you know, I'm not waiting. Yeah, I'm sorry. I'm mean. Rad sleeping there, and it's soon as a sour on the air. This is it, Epson. I'm probably going to trust the subtitles, because they distract me from the uh, main scenes, but they do help for some people. I don't know. I'll think about it. Mm hmm. 
Is it true? Northern women bathe at once every three No, they bathe every day, especially with the men's. <clears throat> once the gentleman is done, he should see me to retrieve his possessions. Okay. That's an escalade. Okay. Hell. Heil, Kerjer. Evain Kerjer. Okay, it's not like he's trying to say Heil Hitler. Which would have been kind of weird. That quill sharpened yet. Yes? Then transcribe. The true authority in Novigrad is not the city council or the merchant's guild, but the church of the eternal fire and the criminal underworld. At times it is difficult to tell the one from the other. They both display a similar ruthlessness and cynicism that... Please wait, Your Excellency. I'm falling behind. You know what? I'll write the report myself. You'll need only prepare a clean draft in triple. Those marks mean I forget. Oh, I just took a doll. That's weird. A Vedimi. Directly out of Nordling Tales. This sorcerer is very generous. A shame I have no time. Cutscene. Geralt, <coughs> that tunic, you look positively smashing. Uh, I'd like to smash you, to baby. take it off. I'd consider that a proposition under different circumstances. One I might even take you up on. But we've matters to attend to. Now do you understand why I'm at Amir's court? No. Mm -hmm. And seems we're in the same boat now. Siri, she's really back? No chance he's mistaken? Look, that's more or less what she looks like now. Or so our agents claim. What a Our little witch has grown into a young lady. How about enough. that? She's grown up. <coughs> it's been years since you trained together at Kaer Morhen. A great deal has changed. Yep. You haven't. Not a bit. You're just, just a sex. I missed those awkward compliments of yours. But let's focus on Siri, all right? Right. Amir said the wild hunts after her. I'd find that hard to believe before what happened yesterday. How did they track us down? Because of me. You see, I've spent months searching for Siri, using locating spells, haruspicy, geomancy, anything, really. I knew the wild hunt might sense it, perhaps even find me, but I thought I'd trick them. Well, guess you were wrong. Hmm. I've sensed them on my trail, hunting me, for some time. If not for you and Amir's soldiers, they'd have gotten what they were after. I can't risk another encounter like that. It's time to put away the magic, turn to more traditional methods. To the best tracker I know. You must find her, Geralt. Before the Wild Hunt does. The Wild Hunt? What could it want from Ciri? Hmm. I've no clue, Geralt. Might have written them to ask, but I don't have their address. That's a bummer. I know bummer. as much as you do. It must be about her blood. Her gift. As for what the Hunt wishes to do with that gift, I... I prefer not to think about it, really. What is her gift? So where has Ciri been seen, exactly? In two places. Velen and Novigrad. The trail in Velen is most promising. You should make that your first stop. Ask for a merchant named Hendrik at the inn at the crossroads. One of the Emperor's agents. He should get in touch with you. 
That's it? No passwords? Secret handshakes? None. Sorry to spoil your fun. Your boyhood fantasies about the crafts of the trade. All we have in Novigrad are unconformed reports, rumors. But there you will have the help of our mutual acquaintance. Triss Merigold. Apparently she's got a cozy flat on the main square. Sure she'll mm. be delighted to see me. What about you? What will you do? I shall sail for Skellige. There was a magic explosion there recently, blew half a forest down. I believe this had something to do with Ciri. I'll be in care trolled. Join me there once you've learned something. Oh, why didn't you One talk to me earlier, before baby? We go, why didn't you contact me? Didn't need me? Didn't even want to see me? <coughs> I didn't want to spoil things. I'd heard you and Triss made a great couple. Yen, I'd lost my memory. Really? That's your excuse? Yes, sure. Let's go with that. Let's drop it, alright? It's not what you think, or it helped me understand how much I love you. I don't wish to hear it. Any of it. Well, fuck. That works too. Guess this means we need to split up again. Not my preference, but I understand. Clock's ticking. It is indeed. So why don't I teleport you to Vell and get you there at once? Not gonna happen. I'll go on horseback, as soon as I can get changed. Have it your way? Oh, and you really look quite dashing in black velvet. Think so? Maybe I can have some of my armor lined with it. <laughs> Good luck, Yen. Same to you. And if you wish to learn what's happened in the world while you and Vesemir roam the wilderness, talk to Ambassador Vartra. That's him over there. And Geralt, I know it's wartime, but try not to be a hero, all right? Just check those leads and come back to me in one piece. But I want to be a badass. I shall be waiting. With your clothes off, I bet. <clears throat> Alright, so let's, let's place those uh, things real fast. Uh, I forgot what Arden does. Sign duration by that. Exploding shield. Delusion. Let's put one towards the shield. Acquire ability. Points. For what? Oh. And now let's see what's uh, what's what's this. Regenerates by adding 10 points per second when not in combat at night. Same regenerates for... Oh, that's kind of cool. Increases maximum vitality by 500. Cat school. Increases light armor. Increases... Just tech oh, cool. Each... Let's do the health regen, because that's pretty important. Like, really, really important. All right, see you later, Jennifer. How might I serve the gentleman? <clears throat> By returning my things. <coughs> Citrus and cloves. The fragrance will keep the gentleman's robes fresh somewhat longer. Mm. Thank you. Thanks, Bunches. The Emperor is not known for his patience. He wants his daughter back safe and sound. As soon as possible. Yeah. I'll be back in 30 years. Mention something of the sort. So long. Get the fuck out of here. Uh. Hold map. Open region map. Yeah, let's go here. Geralt and Yennefer were reunited. 
But something even more important happened in Vizima. Geralt learned that Cirilla, his one-time ward, had returned from afar, and she was in danger. He was to find her at the Emperor's command and Yennefer's behest. Wow, I can actually read this now because it's loading. Hopefully. Made, it's making progress, so it hasn't crashed. That's good. Herbs, ingredients, harvested from monsters, strong alcohol, needs to brew, blah, blah, blah. Okay. <clears throat> if you can't recall who someone is, check the character by entering it in the glossary. That's smart. That's really smart. Really, really smart. Because I'm forgetful. Who are you, YouTube? I don't remember you. Who? Uh oh, I hear wolves. Five days later. In a world. Just kidding. <clears throat> this isn't a movie, asshole. Man. Sucks for these guys. <clears throat> Like, it really sucks for these fuckers. Giddy up. Somebody die. Nope. I can make my horse do loop de loops. Wonder if I can make his shoes look cool too. Step away. Chaplin's praying. Can you see? Sure, the chaplain is praying. Uh huh. I got the things telling me to go the wrong way. Jacko, Hannah, go home now. for a man goes by Hendrik what you want with him want to talk to him what about give me a bottle of something strong so I can smack you with it that's not a bottle that's a shot it's not like there's gonna you be an talk. issue I'll open the back way for you Got company. Who is it? Inkeep, Vorka. Who's this? In? Brave warrior, looks like. Got two swords, see? Oi, again. Great boy. What's the point of having two swords? Wonder if he keeps an extra prick in his trousers, too. You fucking deaf. Gonna say who you are? Or do I need to loosen your tongue with me knife? 
See, now I just got the fucking ripper head off. I'm a witcher. Heard you wondering about my swords. Well, one's for monsters, the other for humans. Only got one prick, though, in case you're wondering about that, too. Don't touch him. Don't even look at him. Worse than lepers, that lot. Saw one in action once. Killed a half dozen. Blood everywhere. Freak didn't even show a drop of sweat. Got the stench of corpses on him. If you want to rest, come with me. On the bench you can use. I step in the hood, and there's the bump. Gotta love it when it works. Like I'm the Witcher. The side, that means I'm better say. than Batman. I say probably disguised his daughter. <laughs> Olsen's all right now. Thanks for not starting a row with those swine. I don't generally poke my nose in other people's business. Looking to stay the night? No. Hmm. I'm looking for Hendrik. Man lives in Heatherton. Don't know where that is. Other side of the hill. Looked that away this morning and saw a strange glow. Imperials on the raid, perhaps. But who knows? Anything else you can tell me about Hendrik? Odd fellow. Arrived from who knows where and for no apparent reason. Shacked up with a widow whose husband was stabbed for a scrap of bread. Baron's men Damn. don't like strangers. Aye, and he stays out of their way. Always seems to know when they're coming. Always manages to disappear. <laughs> Thanks, Inkeep. Man, these guys can't hold their liquor, can they? Steal your fucking granddaughter so I can do things for her. Fucking assholes. Like how it tells me to go down the wrong road. Storm would look like in this game. Air is strange, like dropping into a deep cellar on a hot day. And the mist. Come on. Let's get rid of these doggies. you is get away calm down it's over aye it's over all's past never to be restored i'll not forget that ever Looking for a man named Hendrik, supposed to live in this village. Aye, he did. No longer. They nabbed him in that hut. If you'd have heard the cries, sir. If you'd have heard how a man can scream, how he can suffer. Tell me what happened, what happened? here, step by step. They took him. Took him all. 
Well, that's no bueno. No bueno at all, they say. The sun was waning, see, and the dusk went crimson like blood. Thought to myself, strange. The tones, I cannot hear them. By the end, he could do naught but moan. That's a cool looking sword. Bet that hurt too. Almost look real. Shit. Almost. Weren't here long, the terrors. <clears throat> Yet the village froze like in the heart of winter. You in that hut when they rode off? No. And I'll not set foot there. Never. Farewell. And peace of mind to you. And with that, YouTube, I'm sorry to say, but it's the end of the episode. So until next time, I will see you later. Bye-bye!